four. Oh, bless communion, fellowship divine. We feebly struggle day in glory shine. Yet all her warning, before all I die, hallelujah, hallelujah. But no, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rising bright are The King of glory passes on his way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The first Bible reading will be taken by Zion Olu Lawansi. One of the grandchildren of Mama, you are welcome. I'm reading from John chapter 4, verses 1 to 4, and it says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's house. If they were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? Where everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will be So that you will also be where so that you will also be with me where I am, and you know the way to where I am going. Thank you. Praise the Lord. The second hymn. Forever with the Lord. Amen. So let it be. Life from the dead is in that word. It is immortality. Hear him the body past. Absent from him I rule. Yet nightly pitch my moving tents. The days march nearer home. It's on page three. Forever with the Lord. This rest rise to our feet as we sing this hymn. Forever with the Lord. Forever with 
the Lord. Amen. So let it be. Life from the dead is a sees he hear the body cry. I said from him, my Lord, yes, I do preach my moving sense, a day's much nearer My father's house on high, oh, oh, so lovely. Our times to fate for see thy golden gates appear. By this is spirit faith to reach the land that we love. The rise of saints, Jerusalem, Three. Forever be the Lord. Father, it is thy will. The promise of that faithful word can hear to be fulfilled. Be thou my right hand. Then can I never fail. Oh, God, so I shall stand, fight, and I must grieve. Four. So when my limits is great, shall rain the failing train. By death, I shall escape from death and life eternal again. Knowing as I am known, how shall I love that one and not repeat these things forever with the Lord? Amen. Is there some verses? Second uh, Bible reading will be taken by Ibu Kun.
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We can say better hallelujah now. Praise God. So I'll be taking the second Bible reading um, for the service of songs for our beloved mother, grandmother, great grandmother, sister, auntie, cousin, dickness, adipiju lawansin, aka mama lawansin. We'll be reading from the book of John chapter 11, from verse 11 to 27. John chapter 11, from verse 11 to 27. These things he said, and after that, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get up. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but the thought that he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them, plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Verse 16. When Thomas, who is called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go, that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he found, his, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Verse 18, now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away. And many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Verse 23. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Verse 27. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. shall proceed as we sing the third hymn in three, page four. Peace, perfect peace in this dark world of sin. The blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Shall be taking two hymns now. So the second one will be rising up to single. Peace, perfect peace in this dark world of sin. The blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Two. Peace, perfect peace. By strong times is pressed. See, we love Jesus, this is rest. He is perfect peace, 
With sorrow, such a breath. Oh, Jesus, what is that? What is that? It is perfect. It is perfect peace. With love draws far away. It is as if we are safe and dead. Five. It is perfect peace. A future all unknown. Jesus, we know that He is on the Is perfect peace that shadowed us and hearts. Jesus, when he stands at all, is perfect. It is enough. As strong as shall cease, and she is a father to Shall we take him to step on him on our feet? There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith, we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We take it on our feet. One. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it so far. For the Father waits more for the way to prepare us to be placed there in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore. We shall sing on that beautiful shore. 
The melodious songs of the place, and our spirit shall sorrow no more. Lord, I'm sorry for the blessing of rest. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beach. To a bountiful Father above, we will offer three pits of grace for the glorious gift of His love and the blessing. Since that I know how to in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore in the sweet. But we shall meet on the beautiful Let's have a seat, please. Praise the Lord. I know that all of us. We will see our mommy again in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm going to call uh, Seliani Olulawansi for the third Bible reading. Ah, God bless you. As I read the third Bible reading, taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. And he says, These are the words of the teacher, King David's son, who ruled in Jerusalem. Everything is meaningless. Everything is meaningless, says the teacher. Completely meaningless. What do, the, what do people get for all their hard work under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth never changes. The sun rises, the sun sets, then hurries around to rise again. The wind blows south and then turns so north around and around. It goes, blowing in cycles. River, river runs. River runs into the sea, but the sea is never full. Then the water returns again to the river and flows out again to the sea. Everything is reason beyond description. No matter how much we see, we are never satisfied. No matter how much we hear, we are not contented. History merely repeat itself. It has 
all been done before. Nothing under the sun is truly new. Sometimes people say, yeah, it's something new, but actually it is old. Nothing is ever truly new. We don't remember what happened in the past. And in future generations, no one will remember what we are doing now. The teacher speaks the futility of wisdom. I am the teacher was king of Israel, and I lived in Jerusalem. I devoted myself to search for understanding and to exploit my wisdom. Everything being done under heaven, I soon discovered that God has dealt a tragic extent to the human race. Thank you, the end. Praise the Lord. We shall continue as we sing the next hymn. It's on page six. Block of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy river side which flowed be of sin the double kill. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. We'll be singing two hymns now. We'll take one while sitting and the second one on our feet. We're taking rock of ages cleft for me. Rock of ages, cleanse for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the world and the glow from thy breath, the side which flows. Be of sin, the double kill. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. Not the labels of my hands can fulfill that lost divine. With my sin, oppressed by storm, till my tears forever flow. All for sin could not at all. Thou must sing when thou art no. Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. Make it gone to thee for trends, helpless noon to thee for grace. While I tune the fountain fly. Wash me, say, your Mm 
while I draw these fleeting breaths, when my heart is closing down, when I saw two thoughts unknown, see the heart judgment through. Rock of ages, that's for me. Let's be happy by selfie. The next hymn is when the Lord, when the trumpets of the Lord shall sound. It's on page seven. Him hate. Page seven. We'll take it on our feet, please. Mm -hmm. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is all of your when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder we can On the bright of darkness morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his friends of flesh shall shine, when his chosen ones shall gather to their own beyond the skies, and the road is called of your love with them. When the road He's gone up beyond when the road is gone up beyond. He's gone up beyond when the road is gone up beyond. I'll be there. Let us take a fall faster from the dance you set in song. Let us talk of all this one as long and gain. Then when all his life is over and I walk on earth is done. And the role is gone, the pure I'll be there. When the role is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder I'll be there Amen Let's have a seat. Praise the Lord. When the roll is called up yonder, I pray that we all be there in Jesus' name. 
uh, the next is to give the testimony. And because of our time, because I know if I ask many of us who we want to say one thing or the other about the life of our dear mother, our Mama Lawansin, because he has impacted a lot of lives. Uh, I believe all of us, we have uh, one or two things to say. But for the sake of our time, uh, we, we just need four people. Because I know by his grace, tomorrow is still there. So I we call on one person, one of the friends of Mami Lawansing to say something about her mommy. Then I will call one person from the neighbor, our neighbor, to say something. Then I will call one person from the extended family. And the last one I will call one person from Mama's local church. That's the way we will take it. So the rest of us, let us reserve our own tea tomorrow. Uh, any of the friend of Mama around that want to say something, please, can I see your hand? Any of the friends of Mama around here? Okay, anyone from the extended family, please, because of our time. Anyone, okay, mommy, come. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the Lord. I will say thank you to my daddy in the Lord and my leaders in the FWR. I say thank you, ma. You are all welcome. Myself too, I'm Mrs. Lawansin. I'm representing the Lawansin family. Oh, I think I know mama the very year I got married. And that is about 40 something years. And he welcomed me to full school. We, we pray together, we do everything together. Even in the camp, in everywhere, Mama will hold my hand. Mama makes me to know many of the leaders in FWR, even some pastors. Mama is a loving man, woman. I really love her. And I pray to copy her. She's very, very good. I don't want to talk much. According to our daddy, Mama is very, very good. Even in the Lawansi family, we know we mix something. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone from uh, the neighbor? Neighbor of Mama? Okay. Anyone? Okay. Anyone from the church, the local church of Mama? From the local church. Okay, the pastor should come. This is the pastor of Mama. <laughs> Let's clap for okay, you. are welcome. Praise the Lord. Mama, I normally call him young lady, and she'll give me a special smile. It's a woman of faith, great faith. You remember four or five years ago, Mama could not walk, took her to the hospital, and it had gave her a walker or crunches. That was remember. Mama came to the church with that and said, Pastor, see what they gave me to be walking. I say, who gave you? He said, Doctor. I say, okay, church, let's pray for Mama. As we are praying, I took that crunch and put it in the corner. So after praying, I said, Mama, you can go. 
She said, I said, go now. Mama managed. You people were here. I managed go like this. And sat down. Beloved, from that year to today, the crunch is in the house now. Who is using it? Nobody. Mama is always everywhere. I tried to say, Mama, go and read. He said, Pastor, don't you read in the Bible? Jesus Christ said, Occupy till I come. Please tell my children if they don't want me to die, every program I should be featuring. And I called Jide. I said, Jide, let us do it. This convention, Mama will have been in convention. Last two years, we dodged Mama, said the car is not working. Mama said, No. Tell my daughter, the car must work. And the car was put on the arm. Mama went. Last year, Mama went. I've never seen a such a thing. Really, yes. Mama fellowship with God. He loved the word of God. I, time is not there to save me. There is no Bible study. I will miss Mama. Tuesday will come to this program. They will close by 2 o'clock. 4.30 to 5.30. Mama is in the church waiting for me. So it's my past time. It's past time. Partner in prayer, partner in fellowship, even with God. Mama is somebody we have to emulate. May God bless us. Even during our convocation in September, Mama came and she wanted to go and greet our daddy, our general overseer. And our general overseer quickly called and greet Mama. So for you to know that Mama is almost in every program. We bless God for our life. Okay, let this mommy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. When Jide uh, sent a WhatsApp message to me, say, Sister Rike, check your uh, WhatsApp. I said, what, what did you put there? He said, ah, on behalf of the family, you are the one that's going to give the testimony. Do you accept? I said, ah, I have to accept too. Because I lived with Mama from my primary school to secondary school to go outside the country to study, come back, and also married from Mama's house. So I'm a child of Mama. Mama is my mommy's immediate senior sister, the same mother, the same father. And uh, Mama got saved in the 70s under the leadership of Baba Farumbi, and uh, Reverend Felix Oke, and uh, late Reverend Adebi at First Square Gospel Church, Karimu Suleri, where we all, and uh, most, by the time Mama got saved, Mama was working at uh, ECN. Many of us don't know what ECN means, though. NEPA. Uh -huh. it was, she was working at NEPA, and she was a retired matron. But you know what? By the time she got saved, the power of God was moving in Mama's life. And every patient that comes to the to ECN clinic at a power station at Ijora, Mama will minister to them. It was through them. It was through Mama, one of our colleagues, she's now late, um, Mrs. Irene Olayinka, she got saved. Then one of our retired district overseer from uh, Abuja, Reverend Lanre Ishola Omigade, got saved through her. So many people got saved through Mama. She lived a life 
that is what eliminating. And you know what? Most of mama siblings, the children, they lived with her. She loved her family. And most of those uh, siblings, children that lived with mama, they are successful. They are all doing well, both male and female. Many of us, we are ministers in four square organization as well. <laughs> so when uh, mama, when mama brought us to four square, my mommy said, ah, my mommy said, hey, where did you go back? Oh, that's the first square. Oh. <laughs> but we thank God that at the end of the day, we did not regret. Mama lived a life for Christ. She has passion for the things of God. She loved God. She served God in every area. Mama is a general in winning souls for Christ. And she's not sleeping. When she's not dead, when you look at First Thessalonians chapter four verse eleven, the Bible says, "Those that are dead in Christ, they are sleeping. She's sleeping. On the day of resurrection, we shall all meet again." Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Let me allow two more. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the life of Mama. I met Mama at uh, First Square Gospel Church, Karimo. And as the leader of women. And uh, I could say that uh, her ministry brought me up as a woman in the church. I give glory to the name of the Lord. And we again came to meet in Edimu. When we moved to Edimu, and I just saw Mama in our church one day. Say, ah, Mama. And she said, Oh, this is where I live. I live. So anytime I visit, I pay a visit to Mama. Mama will say, Pastor, my pastor, will call me my pastor. Give me a word so I can pray on it. So I will have to open my Bible. You dare not go to Mama's house without your Bible. So I will have to open my Bible as direct, uh, directed by the Holy Spirit. And then we'll give a word and we will pray. So I thank God for the life of Mama. When Mama clocked the 80, she called me that I should be the planner for the birthday. And I thank God that the birthday was glorious. I did the planning. I give glory to God. And anytime, Mama will say, I have not seen you for time, for some time. I have not done this. I have not done that. I will say, oh, Mama, you want me to be coming every time? And whenever we met at the camp, Mama will want us to take a photograph. He they can testify to that. Say, oh yeah, pastor, my, my pastor, come. Oh yeah, I get your photo. Hey, yami, hey, yami, hey, yami. So I give glory to the name of the Lord. I can say that Mama was my encourager. But when I see an old woman like that in church, here on Tuesdays when we come for prayer, Mama will be there. Going back home, Mama will say, how are you going? Are you here with your car? I say, Mama, I don't come with a car. We, Mama, we look for some, somewhere, somebody to take us. I give glory to the name of the Lord. Mama is resting. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mommy, be done. Mommy want to share our testimony on behalf of friends and ministers. Praise the Lord. Good evening, sir. I want to thank God for the life of Mama. Mama is my friend and also a minister. I got closer to FWI through the life of Mama. You know, when we were young and uh, they are calling us women, say, ah, we are not women, no. we are youth. It's only women that I go to a FWI meeting. Mama will say, you're a woman, no? You're a woman. You must attend. And one thing I also love in her, he always noticed the gift of God 
in the life of people. I was not a minister then. You say, ah, you're a minister. I say, I'm not a minister. I'm not a pastor. I am a member in the church and a worker. I say, ah, you be a minister. Right from, I knew Mama over 40 years ago. And uh, since that time, she had never failed in the work of God. It's an encourager. It's a dedicated woman. It's a diligent woman. It's a devoted woman. Another area in her life is she loved children. Mama loved children. And anytime we meet, say, Mommy, hey, Badura fan one more you too. Hey, Badura fun GD. Hey, Badura fun like Badja. Mani, Mommy, I'm Badura. So, yeah, Jaka Badura. Mo very bo, she ain't Badura in your phone. We pray. Later, I will say, ah, Jude is not doing the way I want him to do. I've been serving the Lord these years, but this boy is not coming up. I want him to be a minister. We can pray, and he will be a minister. And we started to pray. She will call, you are not praying, no. Jude have not changed, though. She will call, you are not praying, no. Jude have not changed, though. Today, she did give his life to Christ. Mama called. But When Jide became a minister, Mama called. The day they posted Jide to become a senior pastor, that day Mama called and started to sing praises. Unin sing. Omo odon yi ti shetan la ti lò ni ala afi a o. Kwe o mbo boti mbo ti bere ne kwa jide. O lu wa o ti mo shè o mò ni bamba koti ya. O ni ito ujo o mò ti e ti ri. Kwe o mò yi di a lo fa a lo jo e mi o wu. O ti to den shi dada. Somebody shout hallelujah. And it mama breathe the last breath. The name of Jesus did not depart from her mouth. Somebody shout hallelujah. Aupade, let's say Jesus, a bit, a coni yarawa, a ori rawa, a yamarawa, Jesus, ni yo Thank you, God bless. Praise the Lord. We used to say, what will people see after you? I think this life that we are living, uh, we are learning. We are learning. May the Lord help every one of us to impart life positively in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, before we take the last hymn, I would like to just uh, tell us that by the grace of God tomorrow is going to be wicked and that will not be taking place in this place, but we'll be having the wicked at our national headquarters church, Yaba. And the time is 4 p.m. by the grace of God. And before we take that uh, hymn that I said, I would like to just present the man of God that will be giving us the word of exhortation. And it's no other person than our daddy our general overseer, the person of Reverend Dr. Sam Aboyeji. Let's rise to our feet. Choir.
him, our daddy will be coming to give us the word of his children. Hallelujah. Him 13. I need thee every hour. Most gracious Lord, no tender voice like that can peace avoid. Let's be on our feet. H9. I need every hour. Oh, gracious Lord. No thanks in the voice like that. Can peace a voice? I need the only every eye. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I can see thee. I need every hour. Stay down nearby. Temptation leaves the path. When thou art nigh, I need the all I need. Every hour I need Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee.
I need every hour. It's all I pain. Come quickly, clean the path. All I need is I need the all I need. I need every hour, oh, holy one, oh, may be thy indeed, thou bless a song. I need the oh, I need. Every hour I need it. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody who is happy to be here, shout hallelujah. I want to seize this opportunity to greet every one of us, uh, those of us who are mama's children, including myself. Uh, you know, the Jesus of us here, Reverend Elias, was talking about the last convocation in the uh, if you remember that day, Mama danced with me. We danced and danced and danced and danced until uh, they stopped the drumming. Then Mama now stood. Somebody now came and picked her to her seat. I didn't know that, but Mama was dancing for her way dance with me. Uh, we thank God for the life that Mama lived. I want to say that we are happy that we are the one bearing Mama. Uh, we give God praise. I want to congratulate all the children and the grandchildren, congratulations in the name of Jesus. Thank you for taking care of her to the time she departed this world. And your children will take care of you too, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to uh, particularly uh, greet uh, FWI. When Mama was the leader, it used to be UFWIB. Okay, United Foursquare Women. And you are going international. Ah, okay. Eti, 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 you are greater than your mother. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I also greet our Father, the Lord, uh, Daddy Adibis. Thank you, Daddy. God oh, bless you, sir. Thank you. And all our fathers who are in the house, uh, Daddy Ayeni, thank you so much for being part of this event. I also want to celebrate our DO, our director. Uh, this is the only man I call director. Uh, every other people, I don't know where they be, but this is the director. Amen. The director of Christian education. Our immediate past national secretary is also here, Reverend Yiloe. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, our brand new um, national secretary is also here, Reverend Samson Alawode. Of course, our host, Lucy Overseer. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to be speaking very shortly on death and unfailing appointment. Um, you know, appointments are meant to be kept. 
And um, sometimes we keep appointments, sometimes we don't keep them. Uh, you can always give excuse. Um, and they can consider Google circumstance. So, so and still the situation all different. So when a situation is different, you can't be called with an appointment. A man was going to be buried and um, his alarm clock started ringing inside the coffin. And those who are close to him now checked. And they discovered that it was an alarm to remind him of an appointment he had. But then he couldn't meet that appointment because there was a greater appointment that he needed to meet. And that's the appointment with death. I pray that every one of us, today when it will be our turn to meet this great appointment, we will meet it and will be on the side of God in the name of Jesus. We will not regret on that day in the name of Jesus. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I, I know, know that, that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord, oh yes, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you. You said, because I live, you will live also. We return all the glory to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity you are giving us today to celebrate one of your own, whom it has pleased you to call to yourself at this time. Lord, as we share your word very briefly, speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Encourage us and challenge us in the name of Jesus. That at the end, your name alone be glorified. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Job 19.25 and Hebrews 9.27. Those are the two scriptures I'm reading from. Death and unfailing appointment. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand upon the earth, even though after my flesh worm destroyed this body. Yet I will see God. Whom I shall see by myself and not another. Hebrew 9.27 And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that, the judgment. Like I said, appointments are generally meant to be kept. And you cannot, you can send in an apology, but not so with death. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 8 said, no matter how strong you are, there's no strong man in the day of death. Death is such a strong appointment that there is nobody that can defy it. Once it is time, it is time. And I want to thank God that the timing of mama's death is the appropriate time. Because like she said, everything she wanted to see, she saw. And I give God praise for that. I pray for every one of us will not die untimely in Jesus' name. Death does not take an apology for his appointment. You know, he doesn't. And uh, today I will discuss about two certainties about death and one uncertainty. The certainty of death is that death is certain. There's nobody that can miss it. In fact, that's the reason why you will notice, apart from this scripture we read, which says, and as it's appointed to men, wants to die. So every man has that debt to pay. No matter who you are, no matter how high you are, no matter how low you are, you have to pay it. Uh, there's nobody who is too rich not to pay the debt of death. And nobody is too poor 
that he doesn't have to pay the, the debt of debt. One day I was thinking, and I said, ah, this death, now wow, even though that Jesus raised from the dead, they see died. Ah. I said, now wow, that's no fear self. Jesus raised somebody from the dead, they see go kill him. That's to tell us that it is something that nobody can escape. Nobody can escape it. So it's one of the certainties about death. And because of his certainty and reality, you will hear a lot of stories. I'm sure you must have heard. That's why somebody like Joseph of Arimathea had to buy his own grave. Because he knows, unless the world, have you told us, because it's so, so certain. It's so, so certain. And, um, you know, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8, there is no man that has power over the spirit. To retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death. Everyone born into this world must die. It is the price we all have to pay. The rich will die, the poor will die. The bad will die. Even Lazarus, who was raised from the dead, he died. Because it is appointed unto man who wants to die. And after that, the judgment. But Jesus came and did something. He came and took fear out of death. In the book of Hebrews, we are told that he himself was part, he took part of sin, that he might destroy through death, destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. If Jesus had not died, we would have been scared of death. But because he died, he said, because I live, you will live also. That's why we are so excited today because we know that Mama did not die. Mama is sleeping. And on the resurrection morning, she will wake up and we all wake up together. So as far as a believer is concerned, death is not the end. We have life after death. And I pray for every one of us, may we be part of that celebration in the name of Jesus. Because on that day, the Bible says, the death in Christ will rise first. And then those of us who are alive, we are going to join them. And then we will all be with the Lord in the air. I pray that none of us will meet that reunion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things that has been discovered in history is that there's a big difference between the death of a believer and the death of someone who doesn't know God. Historically, you know, there's a man they call Voltaire. This man, Voltaire, was the one that vowed that between 1750 and 1850, a space of 100 years, that there will be no more Bible. That was his vow. He started buying Bible and burning them. Anywhere you see Bible, you burn it. See, in his life, he wanted to extinct Christianity. But by 1778, Voltaire died. And when he died, interestingly, the Bible Society of Geneva went and bought his house and put a factory for printing Bible in his bedroom. So when the Bible said, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed, it is true. The word of God will always prevail. But when he was dying, that's where I'm going. When he was dying, look at what he said. Oh Christ, oh Lord, Jesus, I must die abandoned of God and of men. He was crying while he was dying. And the nurse that took care of him said, for all the wealth of rural Europe, I will never see an infidel die again. Because she saw the torment that he went through. And he said, no, if you give me the whole wealth of Europe and you ask me to take care of a dying infidel, I will not. That's why it's a major difference between the death of somebody who has Christ and the one who does not have Christ. That's why in Amos chapter 12, verse 12, and because I will do this unto you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. Every one of us must prepare. It's compulsory. It's compulsory. Everyone must prepare. And that will take me to the next thing about death. And that's the uncertainty about death. That's why the word prepare is very important because there's no age group for death. No, no. It gives the young, 
kills the old, kills middle age. The only solution to it is to get prepared. That's what Amos chapter 4 verse 12 says. The uncertainty about death. God has kept to himself the timing, the nature, and the place. <laughs> it's only God who can determine it. But we want to thank God for Mama. That Mama did not go somewhere and we are looking for her. Is that enough to give thanks for? I've had a number of people like that who are old. And I mean, I, I know one or two stories. And they are still looking for them till today. In fact, when it was seven years, they had to apply to where the person was collecting pension and inform them officially that they can't find them. But that's what the law says. After seven years, if you are looking for someone, you can't find the person. You have to declare the person as non-existent. So they have to go and declare that the person was non-existent. What person? But because somehow, somehow, they just left the house and they don't know where the person went to. But we thank God that Mama, at least we know where Mama is. And Mama slept and went to be with the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that none of us, none of us will die prematurely in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's good to prepare because we don't know when. In Job chapter 14, verse 5, the Bible says that God himself says, seeing that he has determined the number of his months are with you, you have appointed it and he cannot pass it. God appoints the day of death and nobody can pass it. Nobody can pass it. So that's why sometimes you see some people be sick. Oh, sick. Oh, uh, sick. Terribly sick. There was one woman remain only skeleton. Before we knew, she came to church to give thanksgiving. Oh. Yes, who? Oh. Who oh, resurrect? Came and gave thanksgiving. Everybody was surprised because it is not yet her time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yet there are people who just slept and they didn't wake up. One man went to do hand surgery in VI eh? many years ago. In those days, when banking is not like this, he went to meet a bank manager. He sat in front of the man, bank, by a bank manager. He was signing check and he said, this hand is inconveniencing me. This hand. The bank manager said, So, Oga, what will you do about it? He said, Now, I'm going to my doctor now, 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 now. He went to his doctor. He said they put him to sleep so that they can adjust the hand. It was see the same hand he used to sign the check. Oh, not that the hand cannot sign. Oh, he just wants pleasure, wants extra luxury, and they put him to sleep so that they can do surgery on the hand so that he won't feel pain. They put him to sleep. They cannot wake him up. That's this downside of doctors. They put somebody to sleep to do surgery. After they are finished, after three hours, they will come to you. As you come around, I say, no, be put out to sleep. Why are you asking me? You know if you wake up? That is the mystery about death. God kept it to himself. The timing, the nature, and how it will happen. And the only solution for us who are living is to be prepared. And the boys can't motor. Uh, they must fall to have said that. He said, because this will happen to you too, prepare to meet your God. I pray that when it will be our turn, we shall be prepared in the name of Jesus Christ. And I said I was going to talk about two certainties and one uncertainty. So I've talked about one certainty, that is that it is certain. I've talked about one uncertainty, it's uncertain. I'm and where I'll talk about the last certainty, and that is the certainty of life after death. There's life after death. Whether one is a believer or is not a believer, there is life after death. It's only that some will wake up into eternal life and some will wake up into eternal damnation. But there is definitely life after death. You know, some people keep asking questions How can God be so just? And be so righteous. And he'll be looking at all the injustice in the world. Nobody had asked me before. He said, So it's me with all this injustice. We will just die, and that's the end. I said, No, it's not the end, though. It's not the end at all. Everyone that lives in this world will eventually resurrect. It's only where they will resurrect to that is different. 
And what will determine where we resurrect to is our decision, where we are on earth. And that is the other certainty about death. The life after death is certain. For everyone who passes through the world, you must surely resurrect. But my prayer for you is that you resurrect in his presence. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In John 14, 1 to say, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. You know, uh, Paul the Apostle was writing in 2 Corinthians 5, 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body, whether good or bad. So everybody will resurrect. Everybody will resurrect. And that's why we must be prepared. We must be prepared by ensuring that when we resurrect, we shall resurrect and find ourselves in his presence. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. If after death there is judgment, then one needs to prepare for life after death. And I say it again and again. Nobody prepares for a journey when you're already on the way. No, you prepare for your journey before you leave home. Now you are still here. It's the time to prepare. It will be too late to start preparing when, uh, I mean, thank God for mama. Mama prepared and she was ready and she has gone. You know, she danced with me that day. Eh? Even me that was tired because I, I came from one convocation that day. Before I came to Akuma, I, I, I received strength immediately. When I saw, when I saw an old woman want to dance with me, too, I, I carry dance. I carry your God dance that day. I pray for you that on the day that you will leave this earth, people will rejoice in the name of Jesus. I say on that day, people will rejoice. It will not be a death of an infant in the name of Jesus. It will not be untimely death in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to speak to the, the children of Mama. You know, I see, I see Mommy Sophia also. <laughs> All the children of Amma, all of us, let me say this to you. There's a verse of the scripture that the Lord gave me when my father died. And any time somebody died, that scripture will always ring in my head that, look, use it to pray for the children. See, it came to pass that Abraham died and God blessed his son Isaac. When I saw that scripture, I said, what happened? God, you didn't bless his son when he was alive. I claim it too. I claim it too. And once in a while, I used to think, I say, ah, I wish my father is alive to come and enjoy this thing. But he had to die so that God can bless me. Abraham died. And after that, God now blessed his son Isaac. All of us that are surviving, Mama, the Lord will bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, if the God that Mama served, till she breathed her last. That God is going to bless you. Oh, you are just entering another level of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Immediately Abraham died, Isaac entered a greater level of blessing. And so it will, it will happen to you. Pastor, thank you very much. You did a good job. You did a good job that you were able to care for your flock till she breathed her last. And the Lord will bless you for it in Jesus' name. God bless you, ma. Everybody, the Lord bless you because you have come to honor mama. Much more honor will be your own in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I round up and I pray, I just want to speak to everyone that is here. In case you're not sure of where you're going after death, it's very important to know it now. To know it now. Romans chapter 10. Verse, from verse 10, say, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All we need to do is to accept the sacrifice that was made on the cross of Calvary and say, Lord, I want to serve you. I want to serve you. I'm so glad that Mama was passionate about salvation of souls. It's so important. When the Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose so, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? A soul is worth more than anything we can think of. That's why God had to send his son to come and die so that no one will be lost. I pray for you under the sound of my voice tonight. On the day that it will be your turn, 
may you be prepared in Jesus' name. May you enter into the joy of your Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. And to those of us who are believers, I pray that there will be nothing that will snatch you from his hand. You will do it to the end. You will serve God to the end in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's bow down our heads to pray. Let's bow down our heads to pray. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. I want you to sing it. Know that my Redeemer liveth. Praise the Lord. No doubt, my redeemer, nigga, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I know that my redeemer, nigga, praise the Lord. If you are here and you cannot sing that confidently, that you know that he is your redeemer, you cannot say it confidently. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for you so that you can join us to sing it confidently. So that the day that it will be your turn, you will be bold before him. You will not be ashamed in his presence. Anywhere you are, I want you to put your hand on your chest. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for you. That the Lord will receive you to himself. Say, come unto me, all ye that labor. Now every lady and I will give you rest. So whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're not sure, I want you to take this time to call upon the name of the Lord. And you'll be saved in the name of Jesus. Put your hand, your right hand on your chest. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for tonight. Thank you for your word opening our eyes to the fact that death is an unfailing appointment. Every one of us owe it as a debt. Father, I pray for everyone who has heard this message. May no one be lost in the name of Jesus. May all of us see you when you will appear in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice who has genuinely taken a decision tonight. I ask, Lord, you receive them to yourself in the name of Jesus. Lord, make them new creatures in the name of Jesus. Let the old life of sin pass away in the name of Jesus. Give them a new life of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the old things in their lives pass away in the name of Jesus. And make all things new in their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for every other person that is the sound of my voice who are believers. I ask, Lord, that you who have sustained them up till now, you will sustain them to the end. They will not fall away in the name of Jesus. They will endure to the end so that they can be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. And people say big amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands. Amen. Daddy, thank you for that uh, word of exhortation. At this juncture, I would like to request the children of our mama to step forward uh, with uh, the grandchildren and the great grandchildren and the extended family that are here. Please step forward so that our daddy, our general overseer, will come and pray for you. Let the church rise as you pray for them. As I said, you are entering into a new level of blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will keep you in the name of Jesus. He will support you in the name of Jesus. He will abide with you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise 
for the life that Mama lived. These are the testimonials of our journey here on earth. Father, for which we are grateful unto you. Accept our thanks and our praises in Jesus' name. Father, we hand them over to you. You are the mother of the motherless. We ask from this moment, take them over in the mighty name of Jesus. Do much more for them than Mama can do in the name of Jesus. Whatever vacuum mother, Mama has left behind in their lives, Father, you will more than feel it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for them. They will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. You will keep them in the hollow of your hands. No evil will befall them in Jesus' name. No plague will come near their dwelling in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that aftermath of the death of Mama, you will unite them together in Jesus' name. They will live together in peace in the name of Jesus. Aftermath of the death of Mama, you will bless them abundantly. You did it to Isaac. You are still in the business of doing it. You did it for me. I pray today, Lord, aftermath of the death of Mama, bless them abundantly. Let them have a testimony of your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. We pray, Lord, that you will help them, that each of them will live an exemplary life like Mama lived in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not depart from the way that Mama put them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will continue to serve you. You in the name of the Lord Jesus, they will not depart from your ways in the mighty name of Jesus, and your name will continue to be glorified. As Mama lived to an old age, so will every one of them live to their old age. None of them will die untimely in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. I decree upon you unusual peace in the name of Jesus. Have rest in the name of Jesus. Whatever has represented unrest in your life, I put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, when it gives quietness, who can make trouble? I therefore declare today that receive rest from God, from every trouble in your life in the name of Jesus, and let the name of the Lord be glorified. Thank you, Father, for hearing. We pray concerning all the rest of the program. Father, take it over in Jesus' name. <laughs> And let your name be exalted. Thank you, Father, for hearing. Only the noise of God will we hear from this home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Only testimonies of celebration will we hear from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the name of the Lord be glorified. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. I pray that no evil will be following in the name of Jesus. The almighty God will set his eyes upon you. 24 hours of the day will keep you in the hollow of his hand. His name will be to you a strong power. Each time you run into it, you will be safe in the name of Jesus. When you call upon that God that mama served till death, he will answer you by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. Hallelujah to your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. You can stand up. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Let me re-echo it again. Because uh, the Bible says, precious in the sight of the Lord, that of his seat. Baba, I mean, Mama is so precious. And that's why we are celebrating in this way. We have three good days to celebrate our Mommy. I will bless God for what the Lord has done yeah. today. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, is another special day, and the Lord will keep us in Jesus' name. So, all of us expected tomorrow because of my presence to still be with us at our National Headquarters Church. That is uh, number. 62 66 Akeumi Street Yaba. The time is 4 p.m. And next tomorrow, which is 
first day. And that is uh, the day of the funeral, funeral ceremony. And that will be coming up by 10 a.m., the same venue, Yaba National Headquarters Church, 10 a.m. on Thursday. And as you join us, the Lord will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we take the closing aim, prayer and benediction, I want to appreciate every one of us that is here. Uh, and uh, just permit me to quickly say thank you to all our fathers, our mothers that are here. I will not be able to mention everyone because uh, of our time, but to the glory of God, this evening, we have one of our fathers, and that is our daddy, Reverend Adebayo Adebisi. God bless you, daddy. That's our the president of the foreigner. God bless you, daddy. And uh, we have our Reverend Dr. Akebeni, uh, that is the district overseer for Magboro, I mean, Morogo district. You are welcome, sir. Uh, we have our immediate past national secretary, and that is our Reverend Yomi Oyiloye. You are welcome, daddy. And uh, we also have our Reverend Joseph Ogedengwe, the district overseer of Iba district and axis coordinator of Badagri. God bless you. Uh, we also have in the house our Reverend Joel Ogunsola, and that is our national director of Christian education. Let's celebrate this. Uh, uh, they are very, very busy, but out of their busy schedule, they can still uh, make it to be here. Uh, we also have in the house uh, our mommy, Sophia Fandapoe. Mommy, thank you. God bless you. Mama play very, very important role as regards to this uh, uh, mama uh, funeral ceremony. God will keep you in the name of Jesus. Uh, we have uh, the executive of our FWI here. God bless you for coming. Uh, I will not be able to mention all of you, but I know that our mommy, uh, Veronica Ogotoyibo is here. God bless you, mommy. Uh, we have uh, Reverend Mrs. Uh, Ruth Ayeni, along with her daddy, Elder Ayeni, you are welcome. Thank you for coming. And uh, we have our current FWI president, and that is uh, a person of our uh, mommy, Gwimi Ajayi. You are welcome. God bless you. God will take care of you in the name of Jesus. Mama told me before he died, Mama said, FWI, FWI, Every now and then, they are taking care of her. They didn't allow Mama to suffer in any area. Please, clap for all this, our mommy. God will bless you and take care of you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, I we want to appreciate our dad in a special way. But before that, we have the current... National Secretary in person of uh, our Reverend Sam Alawade, you are welcome. God bless you. I want us to appreciate our daddy. Very, very busy. Out of his busy schedule, he still sent for me that he will be here, especially to pray for the children of Mama, which he has done. Let us celebrate this God's servant. He has angelic body. Let's celebrate him. 
ordinarily is supposed not to be here because I know a lot of schedule. God bless you. God honor you, mommy. Thank you. I mean, daddy. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, shall we? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> mommy is <cozy> <laughs> Uh Please, uh, we have our pamphlets with you. That is uh, the program of the service of song. Uh, this type that I'm holding in my hand, please, is not to be taken away. Please uh, give your own to the usher that is close to you. Thank you. God bless you. Let me invite our daddy to come and do the closing prayer and benediction. Let me put your hands together for our Reverend Elias. That was a good one. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's just wave those two hands to heaven and say, Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor for this, for this service of song. Thank you for taking it over from us. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the testimonies we had about Mama. Thank you, Father. We return the glory and the honor to you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your name because you have done all things well. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. And that you have proved to us tonight. Accept our thanks and our praises in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that as we go tonight, let your presence go with us. You will go before us. You will come behind us in Jesus' name. We pray committing unto you the remaining events of this barrier tomorrow and next tomorrow. You that you saw us through today, you will see us through tomorrow and next tomorrow in the name of Jesus. These events will never be remembered for evil. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everyone that comes will come with gladness and go back with joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we have come to pay the last respect to your daughter who served you to the point of death, we ask, Lord, that honor will not cease in our homes. In the name of Jesus. Honor will not cease in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as we have come to pay the last respect to her, we pray none of us will die untimely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Long life will be our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will not only satisfy us with long life, he will show us his salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. And your name will continue to be glorified. Thank you, Father, for answering us. Hallelujah to your name. You will bless your people much more tomorrow. And next tomorrow, you bless them much, much more. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's share the grace together and fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody who is happy to be here, shout hallelujah. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Shall we take in the last hymn? Abide with me. It's on page eight. Abide with me. Abide with me, fast 
Lord, with me at when all the heavens fill and comforts flee, help from the darkness so hard and